You are supposed to be under someone. You cannot do it alone. Amen. You hear me? Yes. You cannot do it alone. You can't Amen. use prayer to pave your way. Amen. I'm just guiding you. Yes, sir. Uh, you have tried all prayers. Yes. And they, they can't work. Yes. Eh? Yes. If you can stay under someone, you will grow. You understand? Yes. There will be a time God will announce you. You understand? Yes. Yes. To stay under someone is not stupidity. It's a enlarging your assignment. The day God releases you here, you realize you are big. Bring him here. <laughs> So you are blocking this man not to hear from God. You spirit, eh? Why are you blocking him? Huh? Why do you block him? Speak out! Huh? Why do you block him? So who knows this man? Who knows him? man is going to be a prophet but it's blocked you are blocking the ears come on your spirit your snake spirit come on <laughs> brother God wants to use you, you hear me? Yes. Eh? Yes. <laughs> but there's a demon on you. <laughs> Bring <Where are you? laughs> that lady to me. <laughs> Were you aware you have a demon? <laughs> eh? Can you talk? Set me free. Eh? Set me free, please. I said, were you aware? Yes or no? You were not aware, isn't it? I was attacked. Eh? I'm aware I'm attacked because nothing is moving where I'm doing the work of God. Yes. Now <laughs> you, are, you are going to be free here in Jesus' name. You are free. Uh, I greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, uh, I was there on the prayer line uh, and prophet said that uh, there is a demon that it is in me. It is true, um, I was attacked, nothing was moving in my life, in my uh, ministry, there was nothing was moving, uh, but uh, God today has set me free. I'm very happy, I thank God for that, amen. Uh, to the viewers, um, if you are attacked or afflicted by any demonic powers, uh, you can come and visit uh, prophet, he will pray for you and deliver you and set you free. Don't entertain any invitation. You hear me, sir? Eh? Yes, sir. You hear what I'm trying to say? I'm hearing you, sir. Eh? Yes. Always when you are called to come and do something, Yes. You come back feeling empty. So don't entertain any invitation. Amen. Allow God to send people to you. Okay. Hallelujah. So this one is your son. Bring your son with yourself. So it's, you're the wife. Ooh. Let's ask that man when I say don't entertain any invitation. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I understand. Yes. Eh? yes sir. Because I saw people want to invite you. Yes. Sir. Eh? Yes. Sir. And still, they draw you out. You understand? Yes. Hey, who's Elijah? Elijah. Elijah. 
I'm hearing a prophet Elijah. Who's prophet that? Elijah. Just keep my mind. Yes, don't allow this man to invite you. Okay. You are going to go down empty zero. Okay. Greetings viewers at home. My name is Apostle Isaac Matibe. I'm from Nelspreit. Uh, I received a, a word from the man of God today that he sees me getting invitations that every time when I get the invitations, I come back tired. So he told me that I should not accept any invitation and that he sees a prophet by the name of Prophet Elijah inviting me. And when he does, I must not accept that invitation. So I really believe the word of God to be true. And I believe that uh, my life will not be the same again. Brother, go, go will use you, but you... You need to be delivered from Amen. the spirit of your father. Amen. You understand? This issue of ladies issue. Even Amen. when you don't want to do, they follow you. So, Amen. Eh? Yes. So you, you need to be delivered. You've been try, you try to resist by yourself because you say you're a Christian. This time you will never even think you are free. Greetings to every viewer. Uh, my name is Stomo. Uh, the man of God prophesied me and he said uh, God is going to use me but I must be delivered from a spirit uh, that was following my father, the spirit of ladies. Yes, um, my father once tried to marry, uh, to be in polygam, but it didn't, uh, it didn't last. So I've also seen it uh, in my life. So sometimes uh, when you resist and temptation keep coming, but today I believe that I'm free in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, I can say that uh, God is good. There is nothing that is impossible with God. And uh, in our walk with God, we always need him to direct us. And uh, God is good, yes. You want to go up? Yes. Deal with your anger issues. Amen. You understand? Don't accept this anger to open a space of demons to block you. Amen. That's you true. Understand? You understand? Because it disturbs it disturbs me sometimes huh? to fast and pray. And this when you become angry you fail to pray. Amen. Uh, God wants to use you, will use you, you God will use you. Amen. You understand? Amen. But <laughs> anger is anger issues. Amen. And this anger is coming from your forefathers. That's true. Uh, these are people who love to fight. That's true. To you, I'm not seeing ministries. Eh? I'm, uh, I'm preaching under a, a ministry. Yeah. Okay, you're preaching under someone? Yes, Christ. Sir. I understand. Come here, let me pray for you. Because when I pray for you here, I'm not seeing church here. Maybe you need to take your time there. Amen. You understand? Amen. Take your time and stay there. Amen. For God to groom you up. You understand? Amen. Don't say it's too late or what. Amen. Come here. Thank you. So where is the pastor you are under to? Um, in, in Pine Town. Huh? Pine Town. Yeah, because I'm here is a very good pastor. Yes. You understand? Because he loves his people. Come here. The way you're giving me a head is like you want to fight me. God bless you. God bless you. Greetings, viewers. My name is uh, Prophet Mwago Titus. So I just want to confirm about the prophecy that the man of God has said. Because of this issue of anger, it has been troubling me so many years. So because of when I'm angry, I can't even fast and I can't even pray because... Uh, even preaching the word of God, it limited me from preaching the word of God. So I thank God because of the man of God has revealed it. Today I'm free, he has set me free. So I believe that God will do more. Thank you. Uh, to other viewers who are watching, I can just say, um, uh, I still remember another teaching of a man of God when he was teaching about to be slow to be, uh, to be slow to anger. So. 
um, I will encourage you that you must just stay away from being angry because of it's something that limited yes. many people, hindered many people into the ministry. Like that brother there, when I was praying for him, I heard that brother is called a prophet. Uh, so you're a prophet? Yes. Uh, you can hear that. So how do you become a prophet with all the qualities? with necessary qualities. You understand? Because when I look at you, it's like you're pushing me away. So I know what I'm talking about. But you were supposed to be embracing me. You understand? Mm. So I know you before we speak. There's no qualities in you. And this qualities is because of the attack of, of a woman. Mm. You understand? Yes, true. Okay, that's what devil wants to do. Devil wants you to sleep around. And you are aware. Yes, I'm aware. Yeah, you are aware. So, but now, if you overcome this thing, you understand. Amen. Is then now you will enter in the office Amen. of greatness. Amen. So, congratulations. Amen. I'm not saying you are. I'm saying you have a fight. You understand? Yes, I understand. Yes. So, uh, there's a way for you to do it. You can do it. Amen. That man can be an apostle. This one. You can be an uh, this one. Yes. You can be an apostle. Amen. You understand? God can send you. Amen. Uh, but what you've been told was not was not true. Someone lied to you. And if someone lied to you, it's an attack. Amen. You understand? Because uh, if you are groomed by wrong people, it's an attack. This is an attack. So you can be. So we need to pray for you until you become full. Amen. Right now you're empty. There's a spark of light on you. You understand? Amen. So God can give you grace where you can do an evangelical work. You, where God can send you places. Amen. Like this, this here. Yeah. You, yes, yes. You can be a very great man. You understand? Amen. Yeah, but uh, I'm telling you, the spirit of your father is locating you. Uh, there's a demon here that does not want marriage here. That's true. Uh, in your family. That's true, 100%. Huh? 100% true. And now this demon is trying to take away your focus. 100% true. Huh? You are hundred percent true. And you can't pray now. You can't pray. Even when I look at you, I'm just seeing spirits here. Sometimes you feel something here on your shoulder here. Amen. You feel like there's something that is moving. It's an attack of your forefathers this day. But today you are free. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There's a this this brother here. You when I was praying for you, I heard a voice. I'm coming to you people there. Don't worry, relax. I'm coming. We'll finish. When I'm praying for you here, I'm hearing a whispering sound. You understand? Yes, it did. You always hear shh. Too much. Eh? Sometimes I feel I feel a heat. So yes. during the week, I supposed to come here, but I could not But I, I dreamed you. You were praying for my ears. Yes, because when I'm speaking with you, I hear shh. Yeah, from that's there, true. You, you normally do like this. Yeah, that's true. Eh? That's true. You do like this. That's true. Yeah, because your ears are supposed to be open. And uh, by me coming here, it will happen. My name is, my name is Makosonge Mamba. Uh, I come from the kingdom of Eswatini. Yes, uh, the prophet uh, or the apostle Makananisa has just prophesied to me and he said to me that um, he's seeing a great man of God in me, but I've been disturbed. And what has been disturbing me, it has been uh, a spirit from my forefathers. Uh, I confirm the prophecy to be true because as he says that uh, I've been disturbed such that I can focus 
and my prayer life uh, the gone a little bit low but uh, he has prayed for me he has released me and i'm now free so i confirm the prophecy that he has spoken to be true and hundred percent true i've been troubled by this spirit especially the spirit of um, being followed by a lot of ladies uh, which has been disturbing me a lot um, and um, it has been shifting my focus such that I couldn't concentrate more on what God has called me for but today I bless the name of the Lord for as the prophet or the apostle has spoken that he has released me I am now free and I will do exploits uh, I thank God for the prophecy. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, um, my name is Apostle J.P. Mugozi from Shawela. So, to, um, I would like to confirm the prophecy which Apostle gave me today. Uh, as he prophesied that, he saw me feeling something on my ears, which is very true. As sometimes I feel heat, sometimes I, feel, I hear sounds so... He prophesied that a uh, good one to open my, eye, my my ears. Then I confirm the prophecy to be true. And I believe that God has done it today. Amen.